Hey guys, Tony Amatronics here and today I'm going to show you something really cool. Now this is a prototype Big Mouth Billy Bass. Now you may go, oh how the hell do you know that? Well it's obvious because I opened it up, it has an EEPROM. Came with this box. No markings at the back whatsoever. No markings. And it has the first generation recording of I Will Survive. And it has different synchronization to both songs. Now it's actually very incredible to have this. Obviously prototypes are extremely hard to find. They've only made two or three. Maximum of five of a prototype were made. But in this case I highly doubt that. I, I think there was about two or three made of this exact fish. Um, but you just never know. But prototypes are extremely hard to find. And it's just incredible to have one right now. But... What's cool about this particular prototype, this one was actually in the stock image of the Big Mouth Billy Bass 15 year edition. Now you may go, no it wasn't, but it actually was. There was two or three stock images of the Big Mouth Billy Bass 15 year edition. Now there was the first photo where they just had the fish, okay? But the second photo, it was in its box. Not this box, but it was in the 15 year edition's box. Now you may go, it wasn't the one, but it was because this marking here. Now, if you look at the stock image with this fish in the box, it has this marking. You can clearly see this marking here. And you can't see this marking, but that was being covered by the box because the box has a cutout. And the cutout was just passing that, so you can't see this section. But it definitely has this marking, and it looks exactly the same. So it's really cool that this one was actually featured in the stock photo of the Big Mouth Billy Bass. Now, like I said, it does, I don't know if I said this before, it does have an EEPROM or some sort of external um, external chip to power the circuit board. So it's definitely a prototype and obviously has, like I said, the original recording of I Will Survive, which the produced one does not. The, um, the sound is much um, less quality, like the, um, the quality is like not as good as the produced one. And also, um, the synchronization is different and it's an actual kind of different recording near the end of the song it's different so it's pretty cool to have this one finally well not I wouldn't say finally I wasn't expecting to find a prototype but it's really cool to have anyway guys let's see an action <laughs> And the prototypes tend to have um, either no spring or a very weak spring in the gearbox because when you play the fish and turn it off, see how it goes down much slower. Now, in my opinion, the prototypes mechanisms were much better because as you can see, it has very fluent mechanism. Um, the movement is very nice and smooth. Um, you can barely hear it. Um, it's, it's very nice, you know, like the, they didn't make the produce one like this. So, but anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and hope you, hopefully you enjoyed this video. But more fish videos will be coming soon, and that's basically it, guys. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.